Cleaver's dwarves are in the sewers. They've slaughtered the guards. Don't stand there like a sodden prick at a wedding. Mm. Master the men and get out those magics. And would someone please kill the blasted witcher? Why are you even here? Same reason anyone comes here. Play a bit, have a good time. Invite only, mate. Shit's out of luck. Gonna get in there. Better for you to let me in. And if we don't, then what? I'll kill you. Do you get that? Got it all right. He threatened us and reached for his weapon. Die, you plowing bastard. This is turning into a bit of a lengthy quest here. Now, we've been trying to get Horse and Junior for a little while now. Now, the only reason we're trying to find Horse and Junior is because he uh, perhaps could lead us to Dandelion. And the only reason why we're looking for Dandelion is because he could lead us to Siri. And that's the tie into the main quest line of this game. So, a lot of tangents takes you down. And it's one of the things that, I mean, it's I it's probably one of the, actually the strong points of this game's stories because the main storyline manages to pull you through a number of these different um, side quests or side stories that are going on in the game itself. If you just had the main quest like be very isolated in a different one certain part, portion of the map, and then you had everything else going on around it, you may never experience any of this sort of information about the war between um, Nilfgaard and Redania or anything like that. Unfortunately, it's also a little bit disjointed in a way, because I feel like you could go through the entire story and experience all this and really not have any idea what's going on. There is a war going on. So this is an area. Well, I don't know about Novigrad. I'm a little bit confused about how Novigrad relates to it because they call it a free city. But this area was ruled by a, a kingdom called Tamaria. Well, Nilfgaard went and invaded Tamaria and took it over. So you get people like the Bloody Baron who rose to power during all of that. But then you have this other country or kingdom called um, Redania, who seems to be in some kind of um, a cold war or maybe just a flat out war with, I guess, everybody else in the world. And neither side really seems all that good because in one had uh, Nilfgaard warmongers and they invade. But uh, Redania and Radovid and all them people, well, they kind of hate anybody who's not human. And they hate they hate sorcerers and all that kind of stuff. So a lot of uh, a lot of pain and misery comes with their arrival. So uh, which side do you really pick here? I don't know. We'll get to that. But anyway, this is uh, Horson Junior's casino. Horson Junior's a little bit more of just a roadblock on our way through the main storyline. But I guess you have to cross a roadblock. So here we are. Beat you half to death. Hey, can you hear me? You alive? Don't finish me. Don't intend to. Who the hell are you? Heard screaming downstairs. It's all right now. Will you help me? You're not hurt all that bad. Let's talk first. Why are you here? Uh, what's it look like? I came here to sit and think. God. All right. Clever and tough's not working for me. They took me for one of Bedlam's moles. Are you? Well, kinda, yeah. So what have you kinda learned? Horson's working hand in glove with the Redanians. I don't know the details, but he's on their side. And that's all I know. Don't trust you an inch. Told you all I know, I, I swear. You'll have to stay a bit longer. No, please. Think about it, it's not too late, hear me? 
change your mind. Don't try. Told you all I. You'll have. No. Not quite sure why. I'm not quite sure what I was thinking when I just sort of left him tied up. He's got no more information to give. I have to go back and just uh, let him go. Change your mind. Take care of yourself. Thanks. I'll lay low until things settle down. Bedlam will learn you help me. See him. He's sure to reward you. Novigrad is called the Free City, and I'm not really sure what that means. I guess maybe it fell under Tamaria's control in some way, and that would mean that it's under Nilfgaard's control now because they invaded. But it seems like they had some some level of independence from whoever it is that controls the whole area. So, okay. It's a bit of a free city, but I guess maybe that's also a bit of a problem for it, because if you don't have the sort of governing body controlling it, whoever can manage to gain control will then have it. And who's going to get the control? Well, the criminals are. So, well, we've got this horse and junior, you have the dwarves, you have this guy that the uh, halfling was working for. A lot of criminal, a lot of criminals, there's like four of them that seem to share the share the city in some way. And I guess... See, it's been a little while since I had played the recording when I had gone through this section of the game, when I recorded this gameplay footage. So, there were so many names and all this kind of stuff, and I'm not... I read one of the Witcher books... And I don't know how much this was from the original source material or how much was invented for the sake of this game. But I'm having a little bit of a trouble keeping it track. Keeping track of everything in my head about who is who, who is doing what, where they're located, all that kind of stuff. I guess it's more my problem than I should make it yours or blame the developers of the game for it. But uh, it's, it's, it's a lot to remember. There's only so much... <laughs> There's only so much of this kind of stuff I can really fall into. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? Wiley. Horson Jr. He's working with Radovid. Huh? If this is reliable information, Horson's neck deep in shit. You fallen out with Redania? My sympathies have now to do with this. Horson wiped his ass with our agreement. That's betrayal, regardless of his current allegiance. Need someone who can get me in to see Junior. You must still have some contacts among the Redanians? I don't, but you do. Enlighten me. Temerian, former commander of the Blue Stripes. Ring a bell? Vernon Roach. He's holed up with his men in a camp near Oxenford. Pay him a visit. You're sure to cheer him up, at least. So Dijkstra has some allegiance to the Redanians, although he doesn't seem to be working for them right now. I guess uh, <laughs> this is more of a personal thing. Eh. Looking for Horson Jr. I've heard of him. Though I'm not sure why you think he might be in my camp. Heard some birds chirping. You've got some of the same friends. Both seem to count Radovid among your allies. These birds... They're terribly talkative. I'll need to see them. You'll have to point them out. Mm -hmm. 